Hello, I'm Tom Kappa from Moz, and today I want to talk about how I'm going to use ChatGPT and NLP, natural language processing apps in general, in my day-to-day -day, uh, SEO tasks. This has been a big topic recently. I've seen a lot of people tweeting about this. Some people are saying SEO is dead. This is the beginning of the end, as always. I think that's maybe a bit too dramatic, but there are some big ways that this can be useful and that this will affect SEOs uh, in their industry, I think. The first question I want to ask is, can we use this instead of Google? Are people going to start using uh, NLP powered assistants instead of search engines in a big way? So I asked, I asked uh, just being meta here, I asked uh, ChatGPT to ask a song about Google's search results being ruined by an influx of AI content. And this is obviously something that Google themselves is really concerned about, right? They talked about it with the, the helpful content update. Now, I think this is that the fact that we can be concerned about AI content ruining search results suggests there might be some problem with an AI powered search engine, right? Now, AI powered is maybe the wrong term because obviously Google themselves are to some degree AI powered, but I mean pure uh, AI written results. So, for example, I, I stole this from a tweet and I've credited the account below, but if you ask it, what is the fastest marine mammal? The fastest marine mammal is the peregrine falcon. Uh, that, that is not a mammal. And then it mentions the sailfish, which is not a mammal, and marlin, which is not a mammal. This, this is a particularly bad result. Whereas if I Google this, great, that is an example of a fast mammal. We're at least on the right track. Similarly, if I'm looking for a specific article or a specific web page, I've searched Atlantic article uh, about the declining quality of, of search results. And even though clearly, if you look at the other information that it services, clearly this has consumed some kind of, of selection of web pages. It, it's refusing to acknowledge that here. Whereas obviously if I Google that, very easy, I can find what I'm looking for straight away. So yeah, maybe I'm not gonna just replace Google with ChatGPT just yet. What about writing copy though? What about, you know, I'm fed up of having to manually write blog posts about content that I, I want to rank for or that I think my, my audience want to, want to hear about, so I'm just gonna outsource it to a robot. Well, here's, here's an example. Write a blog post about the future of NLP and SEO. Now, at first glance, this looks okay, but actually when you look a little bit closer, it, it's a bluff, it's vapid. It doesn't really use any concrete examples. It doesn't really read the room. It doesn't talk about sort of how our industry might be affected more, more broadly. It just uses some quick tactical examples. It's not the worst article you could find. I'm sure if you asked, uh, you know, you pulled a teenager off the street who knew nothing about this and asked them to write about it, they'd probably produce something worse than this. But on the other hand, if you saw an article on, on the Moz blog or another industry you know, credible source, you'd expect something better than this. So yeah, I don't, I don't think that we're gonna be using ChatGPT as a, as our copywriter right away, but there may be some nuance, which I'll get to in just a bit. What about writing descriptions though? I, I thought this was pretty good. Write a meta description for my Moz blog post about SEO predictions in 2023. Now I could do a lot better with the query here. I could talk, I could tell it what my post is going to be about for starters so that it can write a more specific description. But this is already quite good. It's the right length for a meta description. It covers the bases. It's um, you know, inviting people to click. It makes the post sound exciting. This is, this is pretty good. Now, you'd obviously want a human to review these for the factual issues we talked about before, but I think a, a human plus the AI is going to be more effective here than just the human, or at least more efficient, time efficient. So that's a potential use case. What about ideating the copy? So I said that the pure chat GPT written blog post wasn't great, but one thing I could do is get it to give me a list of, of subtopics or subheadings that I might want to include in my own post. So here, although it is you know, not the best blog post in the world, it has covered some topics that I might not have thought about. So I might want to include those in my own post. So instead of asking it, write a blog post about the future of NLP and SEO, I could say, write a bullet point list of ways NLP might affect SEO, and then I could steal some of those if I hadn't thought of them myself as potential topics that you know my own ideation had missed. Similarly, you could use that as a copywriter's brief or something like that, again, in addition to human participation. My favorite use case so far, though, is, uh, is coding. 
So I'm, personally, I'm not a developer by trade, but I do often, like many SEOs, I have to interact with, uh, with SQL, with JavaScript, with Excel, uh, these kinds of things. And that re often results in a lot of Googling from first principles for someone less experienced in those areas. And even experienced coders often find themselves falling back to Stack Overflow and this kind of thing. So here's an example. Write an SQL query that extracts all the rows from table two, where column A also exists as a row in table one. So that's quite a complex, you know, I've, I've not, I've not really made an effort to make that query very easy to understand, but the result is actually pretty good. It's a, it's a working piece of SQL with an explanation below. This is much quicker than me figuring this out from first principles, and I can take that myself and work it into something good. So again, this is AI plus human rather than just AI or just human being the most effective. I, I could get a lot of value out of this, and I definitely will. I think in future, rather than starting by going to Stack Overflow, or, or Googling something that where I hope to see a Stack Overflow result, I think I would start just by asking here and then work from that. That's all. So that's how I think I'm going to be using ChatGPT in my day-to-day -day SEO tasks. I'd love to hear what you've got planned. Let me know. Thanks.